Hello, my name is George Ghidorah. I'm the candidate for the Communist Party of BC in the upcoming May 9th provincial election. I'm running in the, in the riding of Surrey Wally, which is in the north part of Surrey, south of the Big Bend in the, in the Fraser River. This area, of course, is un, unceded uh, uh, Aboriginal territory belonging to the Coast Salish peoples, and we give thanks to the Coast Salish peoples for our, our ability to live on this land and to conduct our business on this land. So in this campaign, we give our thanks to the original peoples of this country. And we want to part particularly express our solidarity to their struggles to defend these lands against further destruction by corporate interests, especially the big energy companies trying to expand pipelines, tanker shipments, taking tar sands and bitten them for export overseas. This Relentless expansion of fossil fuel ex extraction and exports is one of the factors behind the overwhelming pattern of climate change and global warming, which is having enormous negative effects and consequences for the people, all the peoples, and the natural environment of, of, in our planet. In my opinion, there's only one way to ensure the end to this threat to our world, and that's to elect a government that will put the needs of people first. And that, in my opinion, is a socialist government, and that's why I'm running for the Communist Party of BC. Let me tell you a bit about myself. I'm 62 years old, I'm a father of two grown children, and I have two grandchildren. I was born in Surrey, I grew up in Surrey, and I spent most of my life in Surrey. And I've been involved uh, both uh, as a worker in Surrey, as a student in Surrey, and as an active uh, resident and active citizen in Surrey. My activities uh, as a, a resident of Surrey have involved uh, being active in the Fraser Valley Peace Council, in my trade union, which at that time was QP 728, and later with the Delta School District, which is QP 1091. I've always been involved in trade union work wherever I have worked, and I uh, continue to do so now. I have always been involved in trade unions. I believe in the trade union movement. I've been a trade union activist all of my life. I believe that the trade union movement and the working class of this country are the people that will be able to bring British Columbia and Canada um, out of the financial crisis they're in, out of the environmental crisis that they are in, and uh, our, our party, the Communist Party of British Columbia, is a, is a 100% supporter of the trade union movement and we believe uh, as the trade union movement does that we need to put people's needs first and corporate greed last. We are tired of a government that keeps cutting taxes for the wealthy and for the corporations. The liberal tax cuts starting with Gordon Campbell have a cost have cost the provincial treasury close to three billion dollars in lost revenue. That's money that could have been used to build low-income housing, solve homelessness crisis in our province, and reverse a lot of the ecological destruction that we see in our farmlands, in our grasslands, and in our forests. It could double the social assistance rates and disability rates and allow poor people some dignity and enough food to eat for a change. The money that goes entirely to the rich today could be put back into our underfunded public school system, reopening some of the hundreds of schools shut down under the Liberals and providing better teaching and learning conditions in classrooms across the province. Unfortunately, none of the other parties are, are calling to restore the tax cuts to pre-Gordon Campbell levels, not even the NDP. I remember the last election, the NDP offered to raise social assistance rates by a pittance. $20 a month is a terrible slap in the face for the poorest people in the province. And I have many, many friends who support the NDP, but I think they deserve better than what that party is offering. We all deserve better. We all deserve some fundamental political change and not just some minor tinkering. The best way to show the incoming government that you want serious change in the direction of politics in this province is to cast a vote for the Communist Party of BC in this upcoming election. I urge you to vote for the Communist candidate in your riding. 
we have six candidates running for office in six different ridings around the province. I urge you to support them. These are good people. These are quality candidates. These are, would be great representatives for the, your community. But voting alone is not what we're about. We urge you to get active as citizens in your community, in local associations that are fighting for change on a daily basis. This is what we do as a party. We don't rest between elections. We get involved in campaigns, we get involved in associations, we get involved in our trade unions. And we urge all activists to make a positive change in your community and in your local governments and eventually in your provincial and in your federal governments. We are on board with you in this and we invite you to come along for the ride with us. Vote Communist on May 9th. Thank you.